Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakak, Dash. I want to be the apostles and elders of great men's story. Shall I want to be up next on this portion of the sword and the four corners of the highways of my face? Once again, our praise is glory and honor. Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakak, Dash. All right, those brothers here from GMS Guyana. You know, we out here doing what we do. All right, as men of the Mosai, as watchmen. All right, you know, we come out here to give the people warning. Let them know that. Yeah, let's let know that um, there's a pending destruction, all right? And you don't want to get caught up with it, you know? Because, hey, you see what's going on with you know, Israel and Palestine, all right? Don't forget Russia and Ukraine, right? No, even Guyana and Venezuela, right? No things is eating up, so to speak, right? Yeah, this is a uh, First Thessalonians five and one, but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of your hour so cometh as a thief in the night. Right? So the Lord know perfectly that the day of your hour so cometh as a thief in the night, right? And this was what? Since 2,000 years back. But there's, there's a short time, there's a short time to the Lord. It might seem long to us. Like, you know, I told me earlier this year that, you know, he's, he's intentionally trying to think in a spiritual time, time time mentality and not just linear or carnal right because time is relative you know what I'm saying um, but I said all that to say this say right that Turks and heathens they know too what they know the last days but they hope it for this kingdom to continue they hoping for, for them to get wealthy or get any things that they love and desire because they love this world right let me go down some more proof there verse 3 but when they say peace and safety then some destruction then some destruction then some destruction right because they um they 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 think they're building a secure future. They think that they um, everything is going to go according to plan. You know, like they're going to host these wars and so forth to get people started up and distracted so that they can usher in the MOTV to see him. You know, among, any, among many other legislations, right? It says, um, then some destruction coming upon them upon them as a travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief so we're not in darkness right we're not we're not involved or or, or um and get the one in our right we're not entangled in in the affairs of this life we're not entangled in, in carnality. We're looking for, for spiritual things. Right? Our churches are stored up in heaven. We don't care about, about status and, and um, status and, and massive wealth and so forth. If the Lord blesses that, we know what to do. Because it's in the men of the Lord's spirit. Because without charity, um, you prophesy in vain, roughly paraphrasing, right? Look 
be out here teaching, ain't nobody listening. No? You know, these people, you know, they walk on in darkness, like the scripture say. No? about his commander's plan. Yeah, about his commander's plan. And Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai are our commanders. Why? Because he gave us commandments. It says, study to show thyself approved. It says, prophesy, on, prophesy until I come, right? Yeah. Yeah. What, what you specifically to a soldier? Had to be concerned with his portion of the mission. That's right. That's right? right. Because you know the mission is going to have different segments. You know, and different men will be assigned to do different things. Different stages. You know, so that soldier really had to be concerned with his, you know, office. You know, his office. Perfect, right? You know, and executing the force, then looking to other, you know. If possible, uh, help add up, you know, soldiers in whatever area we could. Yeah. But first and foremost, he had to be you know, disciplined and is um, you know, concerned with his, his uh, leg of the wrist. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Put up the put Done. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, it says, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the fear of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strike for a mastery, yet is he not thrown except strike lawfully. Right. right, so no man that war can tangle himself with the affairs of this life, right? And we strive for mastery, right? Not mastery of the flesh, Mastery of the spirit, mastery of, of of this word, because that's what the elect men are doing. They're 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 um, what's that precept? Daily. Uh, yeah. Joshua. <laughs> yeah. Give me a minute, let me get this precept. Yeah, this is Joshua 1 and verse 8. The, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe and do according to all that is written, for, for then thou shalt make thine, thine way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. All right. So that's how that's how our way is made prosperous by doing the will of Yahweh Right? By studying, studying day and night. The spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Right? This thing is not about about um putting it off and saying, "Ah, I think it's like a sabbatical." <laughs> Interesting choice of word, right? I think a sabbatical and um. Get it? I get a, I take a sabbatical and uh, you know put in I put in a good couple of years of preaching in the streets. No, the Lord, the Lord, Shalom, Water, Water. Oh, what? With a preacher? Lama ha! I thought I said we want a drink. <laughs> yeah, Water. When you going Lama ha, Lama ha, you call them? Lamaha. Why are you struggling by you? Oh, 
Yeah, so lucky brother. That's one the brother just passed up on um passed up on, on the camp there, right? Um yeah, check it out there. Um Yeah, so we should meditate day, day and night upon this work. Like um uh, a brother did a video the other day that was that was that's, that's, that was a great uh faith booster, you know, give you that hope about the kingdom. How, how magnificent the kingdom will be, right? And how how these 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 things that these people hold in high regard some hey is 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 slums compared to what we can have in the kingdom of heaven, right? Um but like this scripture said right here, oh you ready? Bring it up, bring it up. This is uh Saraptor the nine of us one. It says, Well he that giveth his mind to the law of the Mosai. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's occupied in the meditation thereof. So what it says, give it his mind. Mind, the Hebrew word, raka, goes back to spirit and mind, right? So he that give it his mind to the law of meditate thereof, what will happen? Yeah. Yeah, brother. We'll seek out the wisdom of hey, creation. We'll be occupied in prophecy. Yeah. The wisdom of the ancients and be occupied in, in prophecies. We study a lot of history stuff, we share knowledge, we pass around. This is a nightly tip, nightly knit network. You know what I'm saying? This is not about about. Uh, you gotta be obsessed with this shit. Bro. You gotta be obsessed with this thing. When you wake up in the morning. How about Shemi Awushai name supposed to be the first name, first thing on your mind? And how does how does that come? Should you return to him that practicing it? If you practice it, you wake up with your hour on your mind every day, you read the scripture every day, the spirit is gonna be on you. Yes, you will have some downtime because the spirit, because we're in the flesh. The flesh needs the flesh needs tending to as well. Right? Because why would the scripture say that he that defiled his temple shall shall be destroyed? Right? So if you if you're eating all the time and you fasting all the time and you you know you go hiding on mountain and you come down every every weekend for preach this this not this not this not spiritual right this not spiritual at all we supposed to be into the thick of it fighting all these demons rebuking these demons because when the scripture says whatever you bind on earth the most I can bind in heaven the most I gave us power for that right that's why we meditate daily daily for us to understand the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua is Yahweh we're understanding and his creation so that we could govern the things that he made because things have to be done his way and not our way right as the father intended come on now you want to add to it so like oh yeah good this is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 28 it says for as if was your mind to go astray from Yahweh yeah yeah be in return seek him ten times more yeah so as 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 we fell off now as we come back sorry and it's just like the rocky movies when rocky come back rocky's train hard we pick rocky doing the most bro and then rocky do all rocky kick ass up to six six movies right rocky kick ass because what he put in the work is always a comeback comeback story he was in creed he was yeah. in creed yeah he was in creed as well too you know what I'm saying? Because he what? He dedicated, disciplined himself. He, he had one goal, he focused on it. And he had naysayers, his wife, his certain people. He had his son in the last rock. And he was like, Dad, I, you know, I tried to get something for myself and this and so forth. Y'all know the quote, y'all know the quote. And he's like, you Don't let people point the hand in your face and tell you that you ain't this and you ain't that. That's how winning, that's how winning is done. You know? Focus on, on, on what you could do. Focus on what you can do. It's not about trying to do everything. And this is how you burn out. And then if you draw back too much, this is how you get from places and this is how you just follow the truth. You know what I'm saying? Okay, which is what we're talking about earlier. Yeah, you know, so Joe, gotta be concerned with his assignment, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's part of the mission. Uh, 
this is in mindset. This is in mindset that um, Peter the Israel is in, right? This is Second Peter, chapter, chapter three and verse five. Um, oh yeah, let me start from uh, verse three. Verse three. No, we start from one. Actually, read it to me. Uh, Second Peter three and verse one. I can read up to. Uh, yeah, we go down. We go down. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 1 says, Second epistle of love, I now write unto you, and forthwith I stir up your mind by the way of remembrance. But so this is what we're doing in these streets. The elders and apostles stirred up our pure minds. Um, I love. You like a piece, like you? Second Peter chapter two of verse. Yes. Second Peter chapter three of verse what he says, This second person, beloved, I now write unto you, and what with I stir up your pure mind by the way of remembrance. Yeah. That ye might be mindful of the words which were spoken before the holy prophets yeah. and of commandment of the apostles. Right, so in remembrance, right? Because we knew this years ago. And by stirring up the pure mind, by bringing back the truth. And that's why Christianity has been counterproductive. Christianity has created the world of alphabet boys. Christianity has created legislation that caused this world to go down fall. The mindset of people is so thwarted because of, of their perverting the scriptures of the most side, saying nonsense like the Lord on a way with. And you could just come, come get duck in the water and you and you and you heal. You know what I'm saying? But this is not the will of the Mosai. This is not the will of the Mosai. This is not what he intended. That's why the Mosai woke up at Elder in the in the in the um, in 1969, right? Which had had some men before that, but Abbevins was John the Baptist as prophesied in Malachi. All right, if you could receive it, he reincarnated and came back as Elder Abbevins. All right, under the commandment commandment keepers, right? Yeah, I think it's the commandment keepers or something like that, right? So. Been a while since I've been true. So from from that, we we are what well, in 2023. A nigga still believing in, in, in white Jesus. Nigga still believing in in this world a long ago. Nigga still believing in technology because Jake doing the most. You know? Jake doing the most. Continue that. Verse 2, it says. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken by the prophets yeah. and of the commandments of the apostles of Yahweh, of our Salakia, of our Lord and Savior. Yeah. So, the Lord says that these prophets that have been, has, was appointed. So in these last days, the same thing is happening again. That we be mindful. You are mindful me that you that you're filling your mind with this concept, with this understanding, right? You're being you, you, you're grasping the full, the full, the full understanding, the full, the full uh, the word escapes me, the full uh, perspective of what's really going on in the world. Where that? Right? Yeah. It says right. This second epistle is the love I now write unto you, but which I stir up your pure mind by the way of memory, that ye might be mindful of the words which were spoken by the prophets. Right? And what was the what was the words that were spoken by the prophets? You know, this entire book. That's right. Which includes what? War War Tree. Alright? You know? 
You know, all these um, pigs and pestilence that is about to come, you don't want to get caught up with it. You know? The great tribulation, the scripture says, it shall be a tribulation never was or never will be. This is the last who rock. You know what I'm saying? That, right? You know? You know, also it says why, you know, being mindful of yourself. You know, search yourself daily. You know, make sure you're not going out. Right? You know, keep the commandments. You know, which there's, there's not just uh, ten commandments. You know, every law is pretty much a commandment. All right? Which go back to where we were saying earlier on, you know, the, the Christian churches they teach that this um you know, that this word is done away with the salakia that the law is done away with, you know. Which hey, if you're teaching that the law is done away done away with, you basically void in the entire Bible. Yes, sir. Alright? Because that is the foundation of the scriptures. You know, if it wasn't for the law, us breaking the laws, we want to go into um Slavery, all right. You know, you know which which one to lead to us getting a better kingdom. You know, yeah. okay. Even Adam, right? He went off. You know, he, he broke the law since back then, and that is why he went to everything he went to. Right? Sixteen of verse four it says, and as they went through the cities, they delivered themselves the decrees for to keep that were ordained of our apostles, right, and elders which were at Jerusalem, and so were the churches established in in the faith, that is the law in the faith, right, and increased in number daily. Now I said not to the law because you could push the law, the law, the law, the law. But still, you should never keep all the laws in this in this wicked ass kingdom. Thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Scripture said they shall wear out the, the sins. What the hell do you think that means? We think wear out the sins. We're weary because we can't keep our laws. Right? This man set up an anti-law system. Anti, anti Yahweh law system that will keep you sinning daily. It says what? Well, and, and increase in their numbers, right? So they increase in numbers because what these men was out here preaching, they were living testimonies. They were living testimonies, right? We we're doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, willingly. Right? Uh, there is it all done. I got the other one, I think. This is um, Hebrews 3 and 13. But exhort one another daily while it is today. What is it called today? Lest any of you be hardened to the deceitfulness of sin. So we are exhort one another daily. That's why, we, that's why we're commanded to do a video. Do a, at least a, one video a day. You know? But, but Jacob complained about the most. Jacob said that, you know, I got to do this, I got to do that, you know? And back in 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 3, says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking yeah, after remember. their own lust, and saying, we are in is the promise of his coming. All right? I mean, we you see that, we, we pretty much see that every day. All right? Because, you know, why is that? You know, these people, they don't, they really don't believe in how about Hashem Yahushai. You know, even if they said it, right? The 
because if they had the slightest amount of faith uh, in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, they would have been doing the things that they're supposed to do. You know? So their action is actually telling us where is the coming of the Lord. Yeah. You know? They don't, they don't have to literally say it to the mouth, but the action say it. Yep, yep. All right? Because they're living carefree. You ask them about the scripture, you don't know them of the scripture. You tell them, you tell them why you don't eat certain things, they be like, they feel like click to them, you know what I'm saying? You ask, uh, who you do every Saturday? You explain to them what you do every Saturday, or, or not. It's like, ah, Saturday is off. Uh, and these are the spiritual work because you understand that it's not, not necessary for going to all these details. You go to your work, you go home, you be with your family or whatever, then on Saturdays, you prepare for doing your Hawa Bashem Yahushem work. Right? And here is here is the closest closest spot to home, to the door that Yahweh Shai opened for us. Right. You know, that's our true home. Not a shit hole. We need latrine right now. Well, you know, latrine is outside there. Right. Hey, even these people that just walk and you know, walk by and saying good night or not saying anything, yeah. they're, they're scoffing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because really and truly, they're supposed to be lined up to exactly. hear the word of the exactly. Most High. Exactly. All right, you know because hey, our people really lack it. You know? let, me, let me get it. Let me get it. They don't know to the extent of of their They don't know the extent of their ignorance. Right. So you, they're supposed to be here listening. Right. Hey, but like the pastor always say, we only have their feet like, Right. Because only let them only let them be interested, huh? This is Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek Yahweh while he may be found. Call upon him when he is near. Alright? Call upon him when he is near. But they seek the Lord. They are assuming they need to get our churches. You know? And this is sure they don't know the scripture. Because he was in the same stead. We were in the same stead. We thought we knew the scriptures. But Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai showed us that we don't know jack shit, bro. You know? But we still don't know jack shit because it's easy one that's open to open our mind and keep his spirit upon us. Alright? Um, uh, we got another one. It says, uh, oh, Song of Solomon. the Song of Solomon. Jump the hole up, jump the song out of a tree. The tree and what? Yeah, boy. That time, that time is here, boy. Now, now, now the time is sooner than we ever thought. Look how much things going on. People are getting more and more wicked. Where that? This is Song of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, by night, on my bed, I saw him. Who him? That's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Where that? Whom I saw loving. I saw him, but I found him not. Yeah, because when we was in glory, and the night represents what the dark times we in. Right? And we, we found him. We found him. It's just like uh, Matthew 25, we talk about the five foolish versions. And the five, the five, the five, uh, what's that, five? Five foolish virgins and the five wise virgins, right? What it was to do in wait for the five to come at night. Right up. it says, I will rise now and go about it, the city in the streets and in the broad ways. I will seek him. Yeah. Whom I so love it. And that's where we are in the broad ways. And the what? Yeah, it says, I will rise now and go about the city in the streets and in the broad ways I will see him whom my soul loved. Yeah, this is an allegory, right? It's not to be taken literally. It's an allegory. 
um, Solomon was so deep that people can't perceive what he was really writing about, right? There was no woman looking for no man. And the, and the woman there is talking about Israel, the woman that clothed in white linen, right? But at that time, she was her, her garments was, was blemished. You know, it was like a scarlet because some of the sins we committed, you know? And if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, we would have been covered in sin, you know? Well, that's Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you should say that because he's the one that mercifully offered his son for us. Well, that, that. So, I sought him, but I found him not. I will write now more about the city in the street. Okay. It says, I sought him, but I found him not. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, Saw ye him whom I so loved. So, have you, have you seen? So, they were, they found the watchmen. The watchmen that what? What is watchmen is do? A second. Mm -hmm. Break it on the You know, the watchman is basically the prophet. You know? You because know, we watch. Uh, you know, for our souls, first and foremost, right? And then for the, for the souls of the elect, you know? Because it says, Watchmen that go about the city found me, 